Hi everybody, my friends, friends, again, <coughs> Chris once again, welcome back to a new video. And today, I'm going to talk about three animatronics that I'm excited for this Halloween season. It's already halfway to Halloween, so we're living, we're halfway there, we're living on a prayer. But I thought I'd talk about three animatronics that I thought looked the most interesting. I have not done a spirit Halloween video in a long fucking time. But I thought I'd make one with three animatronics. The first one is this one right here, Red Crap Man. Let me show you this video first. Let me find another video for this longer. The way he looks is really cool and creepy. I love that Spirit Halloween is bringing back gore. A bunch of YouTubers that I've watched already have this guy. I watched a bunch of unboxings of this prop. And he looks like he's pretty well made. He's got a rat on his top of his head. He's got a rat on his stomach. Um, I like his audio. His audio is really creepy. The face looks great. The mouth ripped open and shit. It looks awesome. Um, I'm not sure, I forget how much he was, but, I think he's 200 or something, but, he's really fucking cool, and I wish I could, and I really want to get him someday. Because I love zombies, I recently watched Return of the Living Dead 3, and this reminds me, this guy reminds me of somebody that would be in that, a movie like that, so. So let me go, let me look for the other two animatronics, so we'll, we'll be right back. We're back, guys, um, the... This, these two are coming from Party City. The first one is, we finally got a Terrifier animatronic. I want, there we go. In my opinion, he looks really good. Definitely looks screen accurate, for sure. Um, I like the saw he's holding, I like the horn that he has in his hand. He's covered in blood, which is awesome. Terrifier is a prop I never thought they'd make because the movies were so violent and gruesome, but they didn't. And he looks really good. If I could, I'd definitely pick him up without a doubt. Because I love the Terrifier movies. The first one is a great movie. The second one is awesome. I love those movies. So I might show it to my mom later because she loves the Terrifier films as well. So yeah, now let's go to the next one. Now we got the pale girl from Terrifier 2. Now, I was surprised they made her too because she has, she has such a small role in the movie, but she but she makes an impression for sure. She is really cool. She's kind of creepy. I like her outfit. She, I like that she's covered in blood as well. I like, isn't that the, oh, that's a bit possum. She's holding, that was a bag for a minute, but got the dead possum in her hand. She's got the hair with like the, the hat with like the ponytail coming out. I like the way she's dressed. The fact that they come on the base that way you don't have to worry about them falling over or anything is really cool. I forgot to mention the audio from the Art the Clown that the audio on both of the animatronics are, are really fucking good. Really good. They're creepy. Um all she does is wave her hand and turn side to side, which is awesome. And she looks really cool. And uh, like I said, with art, if I could, I'd definitely get both of these if I could. Maybe I will. We'll have to see what happens in the future. Now there's one more animatronic I forgot to mention that I want to talk about real quick. So let's get to that one. Okay, we have the last animatronic going to look at, and the Home Depot is kicking off the fucking Halloween season with their Wednesday animatronic she is really expensive as whatever but I gotta say she looks good too she looks definitely screen accurate just like the other clown the way her she's dressed looks really cool the way she's dressed in the scene where she's dancing I love the winter show and I cannot wait for season two um I'm not gonna play the audio on any of these licensed characters because I don't want to get hit with a copyright strike or copyright claim 
when she plays a song in the movie or the TV show, I forget what it's called, but she plays some type of music and she her hands go like this. She looks really cool. Definitely looks just like her in the show. The one thing I wanna I wonder is that Wednesday, is that Arthur Clown? We're going to get a mega animatronic. I'll have to wait and see. Till Spirit Halloween opens and their animatronics do they bust up the animatronics. I'll have to wait and see. Hopefully they will. That'd be awesome. I'd definitely buy her no matter how soon she will be, but Yeah, that is all the animatronics I want to talk about you guys. They're all they all look really, really awesome. The Rick Ratman it looks really cool. The Arthur Clown and the uh Pale Girl look really good. And the ones that look really good. So we're kicking off the Halloween season with some great animatronics. I'm sure people are going to buy the hell out of. Especially the Terrifier ones. And yeah. So. Let me know. If you're going to get any of these animatronics. Which one is your favorite? And which one of these four. Do you want to grab your hands and get your hands on the most? Let me know in the comments. And. Yeah. Megan, Chauncey, any last words? They're being quiet today. They're very tired. <laughs> but yeah. With that said, guys, thank you for watching. Take care. Peace out. Like I said, Halloween, we're only half, we're just, we're about halfway there. We are halfway there, so we're a little on a prayer. And stay tuned for more videos coming tonight. I'll post a movie review for a movie I watched a site that I'll do a tribute. So stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching guys. Take care. Peace out. And see you Dolly friends in the next video. Bye.